whenever I have two frequencies, I will automatically have a third frequency. I have this. There's a third frequency in there. What it is, is the difference between the two. If I have a pitch at 100 cycles per second, and I have another pitch at 120 cycles per second, I am also going to have 20 cycles per second. When you tune your guitar, you tune one string against the other. Do not play that instrument out of tune. After every song you play, check your tuning and tune that instrument. Because you don't develop the ear. If you don't, your ear doesn't develop right. You do not tune the guitar by doing this. Okay, you don't do that. Because you're tuning it to a piano that could be out of tune. Then you play your guitar and it goes ring. When you tune the guitar, you're tuning it one string against the other. If it's out of tune, you hear wah, 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 wah. And then you tighten it up, it goes wah, 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 wah. And you get it in tune, it goes wah, wah. That's the beat frequency. It's the difference between the two pitches. That's why it vibrates slower when you get closer to being on. The third pitch is always there with two frequencies. A lot of writers can write the two right harmony notes to develop a third lower note to support that. Just, it's like the ghost note. 